Hello everyone, this is Karin, and thank you for joining me on this uh, How I Made This Watercolor bo Box video. So this is the final product, and uh, I will show you all the, all the parts. Uh, these are... this is the actual gift, which are some chopsticks. And uh, this is uh, an old experiment in watercolor with uh, um, rough uh, arches paper which I did not complete, so I'm going to use that for for my box. Since watercolor paper is so thick, you can uh, paint on both sides without worrying about uh, color showing through, and uh, plus the color inside is going to show when you open the box, so it's going to be extra fun. Here I took some measurements, and uh, I decided the size of the box. Here you can see I've divided the parts uh, that will make the actual final box. You can uh, uh, pause the video and just uh, check them out. Here are the watercolors I'm going to use. They're my Shinhan. And uh, here I am uh, taping down the, the paper. And uh, all, size, uh, all sides, <laughs> except for the top, which is the one that is going to be on the outside, and not the one folded over with the glue over it. I'm also using some uh, water brushes because uh, rough paper... I don't like rough paper all that much because the mm, the brush... Uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's rough and uh, the water doesn't behave the way I want it to, so with water brushes I can just squeeze and get uh, the amount of water I want. Here I wanted to try some... Um, you know, do the outline and then drop uh, a drop of color, but uh, it didn't work out because I did not have uh, a dropper. So I'm just doing, uh, since uh, she likes cats, uh, a cat uh, in uh, you know, a winter woods uh, landscape. And I'm using mainly blue colors with uh, some dash of uh, red thrown in just to break the, the monochrome. And uh, something simple, not uh, not really hard. And uh, then uh, leave it to dry for about uh, a week. No, just kidding, <laughs> a couple a couple of hours. And then here I'm going to show you how I bent the the paper. I use the ruler, and you need to press really really hard the side on the line, and then just bend in three max four places. And then just uh, use your fingers to bend all the line. It's going to fall in place. You don't. You do not need to be that violent uh, uh, because uh, if you are violent, you're going to tear um, the corners of the paper and uh, break the drawing. So you need to be firm but uh, still gentle. Okay, here I bent uh, all the. Uh, horizontal lines, then uh, I am going to okay, check if everything is in its proper place. Yes, I do like how it's uh, turned out. The next thing is uh, unfold it and uh, do the black lines, because uh, I didn't trust uh, uh, my pit pants not to uh, smear when, uh, when I bent the paper, so I did the, bend, uh, the bending before Yesterday is a particularly hard day for the hospital workers. Oh my god. Okay, so some easy lines, uh, nothing too complicated, and uh, a quote I found funny, which is uh, time spent with a cat uh, is not wasted. Now, once I'm done with everything, I'm bending the, uh, the vertical parts, which are the closing part of the bottom, and then the the flap, uh, which is going to close uh, and uh, open the box to get to the chopsticks. And then here I'm sparing a 20 minutes long fight with the, uh, with the glue, so my suggestion is uh, either to buy a new one, and uh, not the one you had lying there for a year, or use something else, I don't know, a hot uh, glue gun, uh, or really anything else, and just shove everything upon it. 
Once it's done, this is the final result. You just need to put chopsticks in and put everything under the tree or just give them to the person. Thank you for being with me and until next time.